Gareth, well done. Just give us your assessment on the performance and the result, please. Um, <coughs> well, really pleased with the performance. Um, we wanted to give a performance that was controlled with the ball. We knew that would be the best way of trying to quieten the crowd, which was which was fantastic atmosphere. Um, thought we showed great composure. We had good control of possession deeper, and um, we had a real threat with our runs in behind and our, our, our forward running and forward passing. Team worked incredibly hard without the ball because Scotland's system co can cause you a lot of problems. Um, so I was so happy with all of the starting 11, all of the subs, they've, they've done a fantastic job. And in the end, um, a, a really strong performance with an excellent result. First half in particular was very strong. Did that, were you surprised how controlled it was? Did you expect more from Scotland? I think it was difficult for them to press us because um, the shape that we played tonight is slightly different and um, we could get numbers low to control and, and calm the game. But then when they jumped, we were able to get through the lines and we had a real threat. So, um, you know, their system could, could have caused us problems as well. And, and it's that cat and mouse. Um, but our, our players played with real composure and a great focus. Gareth, um, I think a lot of the reaction is saying or suggesting that there's a, an enormous gap between England and Scotland. Do you feel that is the case, given what happened tonight? No, I just think, look, we played exceptionally well. And um, I, th I think we, uh, we were able to nullify a lot of the threats that Scotland pose. Um, so, yeah, tonight was a, was a really good performance from us. Um, I think S Scottish fans should be really proud of how their team are going and the job Steve's doing, you know. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a huge reaction to tonight's result, but we've just had that for three days. I'm sure Steve's sensible enough to, um, to you know, keep calm about that. He, he, um, we, we played well tonight. We've won the game, but on another night, that can look very different. Where does the level of performance that we saw tonight rank and, and where you want England to actually be come Euro 2024, assuming you, you are there? Yeah, well, we're, we're building all the time. We want to keep improving. We keep pushing the players. Um, we've, we've been able to experiment a bit this week as well. We've, you know, two, two new centre-backs have come in and, and, you know, relatively inexperienced and both done really well. Um, but we still, you know, some of our senior players are so influential. Walker and Trippier tonight were absolutely outstanding. And the impact of our senior players on this group just can't be underestimated. Of course, a lot of the headlines will go to some of our younger players and, and understandably so. Um, but the, the way that the group form and the way they are as a team is, is key to getting the types of performance we have tonight. Hi, okay. Gareth. I know you alluded to it there, but was was that one of, or if not the best performance from Jude Bellingham in a in an England shirt? Well, it was excellent. Um, I think uh, we we thought that position might cause a problem. I mean, we we knew we needed athleticism there to press Scotland because their midfield players can dictate games if you allow them. Um, so that was that was key, but we knew that um, this, the, the way that we played the system might might create a bit of an overload. And his powerful running forwards with Marcus as well, in particular, if when Harry was dropping low and Phil was dropping low, that gave us a real outlet. Um, so it was a it was a nice balance to the team with Calvin and Deck doing a brilliant job of mopping up, destroying things, and and keeping the ball ticking over well. I just ask a question about Mark as well. Was that an injury or...? Yeah, yeah. He uh, was just feeling something at half-time. Um, we hope not too bad, but, um, yeah, he, he wasn't able to carry on. With Jude, and obviously he's so young, is this just the start and is it about you guys finding and the coaching team finding the best way to get him into the game as much as it is him doing anything himself? Um, well, I think... Our responsibility is to um, set the team in a way that we get the best out of all the players and uh, the positions where they can be most effective. That's 
that's going to be different against different opponents. You know, at the weekend we had an opponent that sat really low and made it very difficult to uh, uh, to break them down. Um, we had complete control in the lower areas, but we, we perhaps weren't brave enough with some of our runs and some of our passing at the weekend. Um, tonight, there was a bit more space in behind the back line. Um, and we were able, you know, it's a different system we're playing against and a different sort of game. So um, I thought the players adapted to that really well. And also the subs that came on had really good impact as well. And just to just follow up, Joe Cole on television said uh, it's the best England team I've seen in my lifetime. Is that something that you feel that we're moving towards? Uh, that's, that's everybody else can assess that. Um, I think we're, um, we want to keep pushing the players. We, uh, uh, I was really pleased with the week. If you'd said to me before the game, how's the week been? I'd, I'd have said, excellent. Players have been fully committed. Um, encouraged each other, trained really well, um, responded well to a, you know, a disappointing performance, but a really important and good result in Ukraine. Um, and so they went into the game. We wanted the right, the sort of mentality that we showed, and, and they produced that, and they, they were absolutely excellent tonight. Gareth, I was just wondering what you made of the sort of treatment meted out to Harry Maguire when he came on and. You know, moving. F do you have any concerns about how he's going to deal with it moving forward and things like that? I mean, it was yeah. pretty brutal at times. I, I mean, from a Scotland fan's point of view, I get it, and um, I've I've absolutely no complaints with what they did. Um, it's a consequence of ridiculous treatment of him for a long period of time, frankly. And I think our fans recognised, okay, there might be a a bit of heat from our own supporters, but we're not going to have it from others getting into him. Um, but it's a joke. I've never known a player treated the way he is, not by the Scottish fans, by our own um, what, you know, commentators, pundits, whatever it is. They've created something that's beyond anything I've ever seen. He's been an absolute stalwart for us in the second most successful England team for decades. He's been an absolutely key part of that. I've talked about the importance of our senior players. He's been crucial amongst that. Um, every time he goes on the field, the resilience he shows, the balls he shows, is absolutely incredible. So, you know, he's a top player and um, we're all with him and our fans were brilliant with him tonight. He obviously feels very strongly about it. You're speaking emotively and passionately on the... I feel yeah. fairly strongly about it, Paul, yeah. 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 Two more, James. Just ask, how is he? Have you spoken to him? He's good. He's great. We've we've had a good win. He's been a big part of that. Um, so, yeah, he's he's gone and spoken with the media because that's the sort of lad he is. Um, he's he's fronted up as he always does. So, again, enormous credit to his character. And just on Jude, he's been on TV describing his role as a freedom role. Um, could you just talk us through that a little bit more? And, and is the sort of changed role that he's got at Real Madrid, did that sort of influence your thinking at all? Well, he, he doesn't want to think it's complete freedom. So, um, and to be fair, he did a really good job out of possession for us as well. So, look, we want all our players to have that freedom. And contrary to what people seem to think most of the time, I think they do have that. Um, tonight, different... As I said, different system they were playing against, different um, uh, areas where the spaces were open. What was key for, for Jude, the timing of his forward runs. Um, you know, he's got that ability to slip through challenges. Um, and uh, he's just a brilliant competitor. You know, he's, he's not concerned about the environment. We knew the anthem would be booed. And so we said before the game, that's got to give us more energy. You know, we prepared the players for every aspect of the night and um, they delivered brilliantly. Hi, Gareth. Obviously, you spoke very emotively about Harry Maguire just there. I mean, I'm guessing there probably will be quite a lot of criticism for him for the goal. Do you just see it as a moment of bad luck or do you have concerns that it might have been because yeah, just, of the just bit of rust? Just unfortunate. But um, uh, I've said enough on it. Um, 
I, I have to also say I was really happy with Lewis. I thought he had an excellent game. And Mark's had two very good games for us as well. Um, and Trippier and Walker are absolute warriors, uh, absolutely incredible warriors for us. They, uh, um, they lead, they talk so well, they, uh, they compete, they use the ball well. Uh, I think Kyle's had two of the best games I've seen him have in an England shirt. His focus all week has been exemplary. So you don't see the goal as something that comes from a lack of minutes for his club? I'd have to see it back, but for me it's irrelevant at this moment in time. Thanks, guys. Thank you.